Control Cities. Yeah! Today we're going to be looking at the cities listed on highway signs that direct traffic onto an interstate or highway. But first, you're watching l &E Geography, the YouTube channel where we talk about interstates, rivers, towns, and more. If you dig this kind of content, why not give us a like? And if you really dig it, why not subscribe? Yeah, subscribe. Alright, we also don't have a Patreon, but if you want to request an exit on an upcoming video, just comment. If I catch it in time, we'll be sure to include it. So, control cities, just what are control cities? To quote from Wikipedia, a control city is a city, locality, or other location posted on a series of traffic signs along a particular stretch of road indicating destinations on that route. Together with route numbers and cardinal directions, these focal points aid the motorists navigating along a highway system. Such cities appear on signs at junctions to indicate where the intersecting road goes and where the road ahead goes. They are also typically used on distance signs. So, in layman's terms, control cities are the cities signed on a mileage sign after entering a highway, and also for long distance traffic about to enter the highway. The debate in the road geek community is this. Are control cities meant to be short distance or long distance? The majority of road geeks seem to be of the opinion that control cities are intended to direct long term traffic. Think something along the lines of cities of with 100,000 plus people, big tourist or economic draws. The opposing side, aka more than a few of the state DOTs, seems to think that control cities are meant to sign towns that are only a few miles away, even if they only have a few thousand people. That's how we end up with incredibly provincial control cities like East St. Louis. That brings us to mileage signs. These signs usually list two to three cities and their distance in miles. These are almost always posted after entering a highway and give you an idea of how far you have to go until the next potential stop. The same debate plagues mileage signs, where good mileage signs give you the next exit on the top, a decent sized city in the middle, and a metropolis on the bottom line. But the reverse is also true, where quite a few DOTs will sign provincial control cities on mileage signs, and that, my fellow road geeks, is how we end up with things such as Lyman, Colorado. All that said, control cities really aren't as practical as they used to be since GPS's and online maps have taken over navigation as a whole. Now it's time for Carl's the way it should be. Although it is entirely a matter of opinions, I feel that long distance control cities are best suited for the interstate system where the traffic is generally more long distance. I think that shorter distance control cities work best on US and state highways where the traffic tends to be more local. What do you all think about control cities? Are long distance or short distance cities better? And are control cities as a whole even that practical anymore? Let me know in the comments down below and I will guarantee you I probably won't read them. But until then, my name's Carl, keep on trucking.